summer of 1984, the year the Olympics came to Los Angeles. 7,800 athletes, the world's finest, coming to rewrite the record books, to go for the gold. Win or lose, theirs was a triumph of spirit, strength, and exceptional endurance. But behind every good performance lay years of dedicated preparation in world-class athletics and in transportation management. Today, in the aftermath of the Olympics, LA's public transportation system, the RTD, is acknowledged as having been a vital element in the success of the Summer Games. It was the payoff for years of preparation. Hundreds of thousands of spectators chose to ride to the Olympics on the RTD. They arrived quickly and on time from almost every major area in Los Angeles. Transportation was one of the big winners of the 84 Olympics. City and state officials and men like RTD General Manager John Dyer and RTD Board President Nick Patsioris were already making detailed plans for the Games two years before the Olympic torch was lit. And by the summer of 1984, the RTD was ready. Ready on the city streets with preferential bus lanes. Ready behind the wheel with hundreds of new drivers. Ready behind the scenes with round-the-clock maintenance. And a computerized command center to keep the buses moving smoothly. And ready with a large special Olympics fleet. The extra buses, 550 in all, were instantly filled in spite of Southern California's devotion to cars. Travel to the games couldn't have been simpler. Plans called for a constellation of bus centers around the city, park and ride centers, where spectators could reserve seats to most major Olympic venues. Today, officials are crediting park and ride and a network of shuttle buses with providing low-cost transit for hundreds of thousands of Olympic spectators from all over the world. Taking the bus was really good because you got there really fast and the buses are clean and really easy and a lot of people do it. It's really fun. You don't have to worry about parking your car yeah, or making you can... sure that you'll find it when you get out. There's real it low just stress takes you taking the bus. You just kind of sit yeah. there. It's, it's really nice and you get there fast. Olympics traffic. It was one of the big concerns before the games. The public and the media expected a nightmare of Olympic congestion. But many urged the use of buses, and public transportation emerged as a major factor in minimizing traffic problems. My name's Jim Gallagher from Melbourne, Australia, and we're over here for the games. And we'd just like to say that the uh, transport system is fantastic. Uh, it's really convenient for all the people coming from the hotels, and it's good stuff. The bus is great, it's just great, everything works great, and it's cool, it's wonderful, no traffic, it's just wonderful. Everybody should take the bus. Best way uh, to do is I have to take the bus, more easy for us. They all came in from Germany and uh, in order to see the Olympic events in Los Angeles and we took the RTD bus and this went very smoothly and went to the swimming events and now we're on the way back home again. And we enjoyed the bus ride, there was more people, we got more of a flavor for the excitement of the Olympics, and we're just having a great time. We're glad we took the bus. Summer of 84, it'll be remembered as the year of the largest Olympiad in modern history, the year Los Angeles met its Olympic challenge. And in the months that followed, as the RTD looked back upon its Olympic strategies, the verdict became clear. Public transportation earned a gold medal. It was a proud ride home for the RTD.